the City Connect uniforms for the Reds tonight. Yeah, it's a different look on a warm night. All black uni. They've got Cincy on the chest. And they got Graham Ashcraft on the mound. 15th start for the right hander. We saw him earlier in the year in the three and six record, and he's been getting knocked around lately. This year, 69 innings pitched. And when you talk about base runners, he's had 90 base runners. First pitch to Tatis is a soft ground ball to the right side. Up with it is India. He'll flip it over to first in time for the out. And Fernando Tatis Jr. is retired. Now an on base machine, Juan Soto. Weak ground ball, India backhand. This is a good start for Graham Ashcraft. Here is Manny Machado. High fly. Benson slows on the track. That's a seven pitch inning for Graham Ashcraft. On the mound, ready to work is Seth Lugo. Chopped right side. Odor will play the high hop and throws him out for out number one. McLean hitting at a 316 clip. He has six homers and 25 batted in. McLean had a hit on Wednesday, but finished that game just one for six. Did score a run though. Yeah, this has popped up. Foul ground over is Cronenworth, and he'll make the catch for out number two. Two men are out. Jonathan India is the batter. Lugo features a lot of breaking balls, and there's a fly ball to right that Fernando has sized up. He'll make the catch, and Seth Lugo has a one, two, three first, done with one without a score. As this game moves along to the second inning, Ellie De La Cruz will come to the plate. Machado with a diving play. Look at step towards the bag at third, and comes up with a nice snag. One down. Robs De La Cruz. Taking away a hit. De La Cruz trying to go the other way, and he just got Machado'd. Now Jake Fraley, a left handed batter. The fly ball to left, and Soto towards the line makes the catch. Joey Votto here today is playing in his 2000th career game. He is now the fourth active major leaguer to play 2000 games swings of the first pitch skies it into shallow right Odor is back Tatis is in Fernando calls him off and makes the catch a one two three second inning for Seth Lugo and we'll head to the third scoreless in Cincinnati Matt McLean is popped out to first base to right field Tatis one away Jonathan India to the plate and Jim Day he was on the field early very early taking early BP now when you're struggling what do you do you go back to work now in his words crushing it today one of the best batting practice sessions that he's had in quite some time up the middle the first hit for a red Jonathan India back stronger than a 90s trim it was a nice piece of hitting right there by India he's on with one out. Ellie De La Cruz bat chopper up over Cronenworth and into right field. He was in on the grass at first. Heading to third is India. Throw to second and he will be very out. So Fernando comes up firing and throws out De La Cruz. He has been very aggressive on the base pass and that time too aggressive. India gets to third. Two down in the bottom of the fourth inning. And a swing and a miss. Lugo pumped a fastball at 96. Pass Jake Fraley to strike him out. And in the inning. Fred Grisham leading it off here in the top of the sixth inning. Fly ball, center field. Friedel going back towards the warning track at the wall. That ball is gone. A home run. Trent Grisham homered yesterday. He's homered tonight. And the Padres take a 1 0 lead in the top of the sixth inning. Home run number eight for Trent Grisham. Adela Cruz has drilled a line drive out to third. He has chopped a single over first that he tried to stretch into two and got cut down. In the air, left center. Grisham way over. On the crisscross, the ball's down. De La Cruz flying up to second. He slams on the brakes. Equalizing run in scoring position. Soto seemingly could not see it. And Grisham could not close the gap in time. Fraley has been one of the better Reds hitters with runners in scoring position. To right center. Base hit. Windmill on De La Cruz. He jogs home. So the error that was given to Grisham in center field and E8 sets the table for Fraley to drive in the game tying run. He does. Joey Votto coming up next. There it goes. And a ground ball picked at first base by Cronenworth. He'll tag the bag. Nice play by Jake. That will end the inning, but a run for the Reds ties the score one to one after six. And there is a walk. Spencer Steer, the first Reds leadoff man to reach. Tyler Stevenson to the plate. Stevenson has been aboard twice. He reached on an error 
in his first at bat. He singled his last time up. Going over there again, and this time he picked him off. He was going again and leaning again, and this time he picks him off. That's huge after the leadoff walk by Honeywell. He picks him off first base. That is stroke to left. Soto frozen. Carry to the wall. Gone! Tyler Stevenson propels the Reds ahead. Solo shot in the seventh. 2-1 Cincinnati. It'll be Bogarts, Cronenworth, and Sanchez, and Alexis Diaz into the game. On the ground and through into left field. A base hit starts the ninth inning for the Padres. And they're Bogarts with that single. Here is Jake Cronenworth with a runner at first and nobody out in the ninth. Here's a bunt. And Diaz, the pitcher, fires to first and it is late. It's off the glove. Avado backed up by India, but reaching is Cronenworth. They're going to apply a tag and he is not going to be out. He did not make a turn towards second base. So two on, nobody out in the Padres' ninth. And here is Gary Sanchez. Fly ball, left field, sending Benson back onto the dirt of the track. He will make the catch. Tagging it second is Bogarts. Tagging it first is Cronenworth, wow. and they'll both move up. Infield in all the way around. Second and third, one out. Matt Carpenter. Carpenter drives one to right field. Fraley going back, and he'll make the catch. Tagging it third is Bogarts. He will score. This game is tied as tagging it second and moving to third is Cronenworth. And this game is tied up two to two. Go ahead, run to third base for the Padres. Here's Fernando. Kind of put the Padres on top in the top of the 10th. Line into left center field from third base comes Odor. Fernando has got himself an RBI single, and the Padres have a lead in the 10th. Then now Juan Soto. Line down the left field line. That ball is going to be fair into the corner. Fernando running the bases. They're going to try to get him in. Here comes the throw. It is going to be late, and the Padres have taken a two-run lead on top, four to two. Juan Soto drives in a pair with a double to the left field corner. Last man standing is Matt McLean, who was 0 for 4. His on base streak on the line in 20 games. Drill to center. Grisham back. Sanchez has singled to center, flied out to the warning track in center, walked in the seventh. Grounded towards second. India can't play it. It gets into center, and around comes Bogarts, puts Padres on top. So a 5 4 Padres lead in the 11th. Jonathan India, the free runner. Ellie De La Cruz leads it off. That is driven hard to right center. Awkward read by India. Furious windmill on. De La Cruz shoots up to second. Throw to second. Head first plunge. India scores. Tie. Ribbing double. Bunt. De La Cruz starts for third. Only play at first. Throw on time on target. And the winning run is 90 feet away with one out. It is Senzel who is due up. Grounded. De La Cruz break. Throw to the plate side. Reds win. No, he's out. He missed the plate. De La Cruz in disbelief. Well, Sanchez put his foot down. And I think he blocked the plate. And the question is, did De, De La Cruz touch it? The Reds challenge. After review, there was no blocking violation. The out call at home plate was confirmed. The runner is out. But the Reds are not done yet here in the 11th. They've tied it up, and here is Spencer Steer with Sinzel on at first base. That is caught! 